So today we're going to a warehouse where they sell building materials and things like that. Just as soon as we can get through with this traffic. What I'm planning on doing today is buying a barbecue for the garden, very cheap, very cheap one. Mowing the lawn, which is something you'll get to see me do today. And um, I want to fix up the, um, I want to fix up the, the brick oven because I'm planning on showing you guys how it works and what you can bake with it and in principle mostly bread and I have to buy myself an axe a new axe for chopping wood you'll see why in a future video oh, this is a bit cheap maybe not that cheap So no luck, unfortunately. The only barbecue I could find which I liked and that was affordable in price is out of stock. So we're off to a different warehouse and hopefully we can find what we're looking for there. Let's go. We were talking about music last time. I was able to engage with some of you in a uh, discussion about music and what it means to people and I'm very happy about that. The thing which comes very naturally after that, especially because I was mentioning rock music and genres of music that aren't that popular. How people view you if you're not sort of a standard, standard built human being, let's call it. One of the ways in which people like to express themselves is music. And once you do that, to a certain degree, people like to label you. He listens to this kind of music, he listens to that kind of music. Once you get labelled, it's very difficult to shake it off. Even if, yes, you express yourself through a certain type of music, a certain genre of music, but that's not everything you are. If you are someone a little more rebellious, let's say, you are going to be listening to rock music, aren't you? That's sort of the standard definition of what a rebellious person listens to, isn't it? It's rock music and the screaming, angry type of uh, musical expression but is it really and can you really judge someone by the music that they listen to and the way that they look and is it even right to do that hmm more hobbies no barbecues here now I think I've found what I'm looking for. Looks a bit wobbly because these need to be this, these need to be uh, fixed onto here, but it doesn't look too bad. And there's plenty of stock, so this is it. Let's go with this. Very happy. Got some really nice axes. Really happy I didn't buy it from there because look at these selection. Very nice. This is something I'm going to need, something I'm planning to do. You'll find out soon. So we got exactly what we needed. Two axes and the barbecue. Everything is looking good. Now it's time to go back home. And we're off. So happy I found everything I was looking for, apart from a few light bulbs, which I don't really need and they were a bit too expensive so I'll skip them this time. So being different, being different in a world of people who are the same, how pretentious does that sound? How conceited? Well it's not really like that. You see, I'm sure many of you have grown up with the same experiences as I have and my wife and many other people I know. And that is being a bit different from the standard human being that people are used to seeing. You get these weird looks and not only looks, but bad comments and just general bullying. And when it comes to bullying, I've had my fair share of bullying. And when I say bullying, I do mean the proper kind of bullying. 
uh, physical abuse and also um, verbal, psychological abuse. And that was because I was different. For one thing, I was different in England where I went to school for being Romanian. And even though I spoke the same English at the same level as everybody else was speaking, I was bullied on the basis of where I was from. And that was Eastern Europe. And I was the butt of just about every joke there was about Eastern Europeans, migrants, poor people. Because we weren't very, you know, we weren't very rich, to put it that way. And even some of the simpler things which my colleagues, my classmates could afford, like um, PlayStation consoles or some other simple things, holidays in different places, I couldn't afford those things. My parents couldn't. And they were working really, really hard to keep us in school and to keep us well fed and well dressed. But just on the basis of where I was from, I got attacked for that. I got punched, I got kicked, sometimes just out of the blue and sometimes by people who I considered my, my friends in school. So that, that was painful. And then moving back here, I was again the different kid. I wasn't 100% Romanian. So I, I could never win. So no matter where I was, if I was here, if I was in England, I was always different. I was always different, either because I'd been there or because I'd come from here. And you can imagine how that leaves you feeling. It leaves you feeling like you are different, there's something wrong with you, or you're just never gonna fit in. So it happens sooner rather than later that you decide for yourself, well, if I'm not gonna be this person that everybody else wants me to be, and I'm always going to be different, just because of my history, because of where I'm from, or because of the way I look, or things like that, I might as well just go with it. Sorry, mum and dad, for the hard years I gave you, especially mum. And once you're in that position, you're this lonely kid, can't find your place doing any, anything at all, wasn't very good in school, couldn't find one particular subject to stick to, obviously. Once you're there, the only sort of consolation and the only uh, refuge you can find is mostly through music. And that was rock music. Right, changed into something a little bit more comfortable and this is what I'm faced with. But wait, what is this humongous fungus on my neck? Well, because I'm working outside, I don't want to ruin my nice new lav mic, so I'm using the $2 cheap Chinese microphone, which, if it gets broken, I won't feel too sorry for it. So let's go do some work. to grind, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Stupid joke. It's lawnmower time. different day because I got caught by the rain yesterday and couldn't continue filming so it's a new day look what I've managed to build since we last saw each other yes well not bad not bad for for the price okay next thing we need to do and I didn't get to do yesterday is to sort this out okay relatively nice and clean now, this oven is something I built last year during the pandemic when everybody was stuck inside and everybody was getting into all sorts of different hobbies. But I really got into bread making and I want to see if I can still use it. It was only supposed to be temporary. That's why these bricks are being held together by mud and clay. 
but I want to see if I can still use it. If it's still here, why not use it, right? So to test out if it's still functional, we're going to have to build a small fire. It's always a good idea to build a fire. Here I have some dry cardboard, which I'm going to use to light the fire as kindling. So let's do that. And while I do that, we'll get on with our conversation. Now, yesterday, I was telling you about bullying and being different in a world where people want you to be the same. And if you stand out, then that's a problem. So why am I going on about this? Why all, the, all of a sudden am I getting into my memories of bullying and, and uh, nasty people? Well, recently, with the uh, Eurovision Song Contest, we had uh, Italy, and Italy participated with a hard rock song. A, uh, I would call it a mix between hard rock and glam rock. Glam rock because the singer, the, uh, the vocalist, his name is Damiano David, um, he dresses in drag, but I don't think he's, uh, he's gay or anything, it's just the way he dresses to make a point, to, you know, to make a statement. Not, not that there would be anything wrong with that, if he were, it's just that people are getting on his case for no reason. Adding some wood now and trying to make a, a nice campfire in here. What do you think? Is this going to leak or is it going to work? Hopefully it works perfectly because I just don't want to be bothered with plugging holes with clay and mud right now, but we'll see. And because everybody was getting on Damiano's case, with uh, the music he played and uh, they even accused him of doing drugs live on Eurovision television. Can you imagine that? The guy's sitting there with his manager, with all his band members. Is he getting drugged? I don't think so. And all they have to base this on is the fact that in one shot he actually bent down to pick something up. As I've, as I've heard, it was a, um, a broken glass, so there were shards of glass everywhere. So he kneels down to pick them up. And there's this one shot of him kneeling down, you can't see what he's doing, and people are saying he was snorting cocaine. I think that's a bit far-fetched, and I think that's just being really, really evil, and uh, being a hater, basically. All right, time to light a fire. Get out my lighter. Here we go. We got the fire going. Now I'm just gonna let it catch fire properly, add a few more bits of wood to it, and then I'm gonna smoke it. And by smoke it, I mean I'm gonna close this off and uh, see where the smoke li likes to come out from. And if it's not out of the chimney, then we have a problem and we need to plug those holes. But until then, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add a bit more fuel to it. I just love the sound of wood crackling on a fire, don't you? Wow. All right, time to close it up. Take this out of the way and see what happens in a few minutes. It looks very rudimentary, but it works. Look at that. And of course, whenever you're dealing with fire, it's always a good idea to have a bucket of water at hand just in case anything goes wrong. To give you an idea of just how hot that chimney is getting, check this out. All right, it's white hot. Amazing. You do not want to touch that with your bare hands. But I can't find any other weak spot or any other place where smoke is coming out at the moment, which is a good sign. It means this is still fully functional and if I bake a loaf of bread in there, it won't uh, leak heat, which is the last thing you want when you're baking. Okay, let's make this look the part. So I'm gonna sit myself right there as I check on my little fire. Telling stories by the fire, isn't this like the best human experience ever? It's fantastic, let me see. 
let me throw that in there just for just for the sake of the video. This might be a weird example to give, but these guys are rock stars, right? So they might not even care about the public hate that they get. They're still young, they might do, but they're rock stars. But think about all the other people online that get a lot of hate for what they do, just for being different. And where does this hate come from? Well, I think it comes from very insecure people, to be honest. I think it comes from people who are either jealous of other people or are just very insecure. And it makes them feel a lot better to bash other people than to actually try and solve their own issues. It's very easy to bash someone and to hate and to spew out random comments, especially online. Everybody's a warrior, a keyboard warrior online. So I guess that's the deal with being different. If you're different, you're gonna get a lot of hate. And even if you're perfect, even if you're sort of the perfect standard human being, you're still gonna get comments and you're still gonna get hated on for varying reasons. People will find something to, to hate on you about no matter what you do and who you are. So yes, less hate and more music. Listen to good music. All right, here we go, smoky smoke. Let's test it again. So we've got smoke coming out of there and not a lot of smoke coming out from anywhere else, which is good. This is what we want. Now you can see the water coming out of these bricks because we're basically boiling them. And they're not getting too hot at the moment. Usually when we bake bread, this needs to be this needs to be really hot to the touch because that's when you know there's a lot of there's a lot of heat energy being stored in these bricks and once you uh, once you extinguish the fire you put out the fire these bricks and the energy in them start radiating that heat down into your loaf of bread or whatever you're baking and uh, that's what gives you a consistent temperature to be able to bake a loaf of bread or whatever you're doing And there we go, that's it. That's how you start a fire in a brick oven. Getting ready to bake a bread for you guys one of these days. Maybe next time, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna wait for this to go out, then I'm gonna make sure it's out completely with a bucket of water. And uh, that will be me for today. So thanks for watching and tune in next time. Until then, check out one of these, where are they? All oh, right, there they are. One of these two videos, one up there and one down there. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Quite proud of this. What a lovely day.